welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin pachdi. It's a very Ayurvedic dish that is made with some steamed pumpkins and tossed in some freshly ground coconut paste. It's a um, um, very soothing and comforting dish that goes great with fulkas and most often made in Kerala. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in and learn how to make this super simple, healthy Ayurvedic dish. To begin making the pumpkin pachdi, I have some freshly cut yellow pumpkins with me which I'm going to be cooking directly in the pressure cooker. You can also cook this in the steamer if you uh, uh, want and we'll add in a pinch of salt, in fact just the amount of salt that needs for the vegetable, you can add it right away and, um, and some turmeric powder. We'll add in a little bit of water and cook it just for about a whistle. Pumpkin cooks really quickly, so it's important to actually wait for that whistle, turn off the cooker and release the pressure immediately so it doesn't get squashed and mushy. So that's what we'll do just now. Notice that the the pumpkin is just cooked just right and it's not mashed up and the pieces are still intact. So now that the pumpkin is cooked and we're done cooking the pumpkin, um, we have to grind the coconut green chili curry leaf mixture. So this is one of the core ingredients for making the pachidi. So once we grind this to a smooth paste, we'll add it into um, the pumpkin and, and then do the tadka. So I'm just gonna just go ahead and grind this. So into my small mixer grinder, I'm going to add in that inch piece of ginger, green chilli, curry leaves and the coconut. And uh, adding freshly grated coconut brings in great flavour. So if you do get hold of freshly grated coconut, do make sure that you add it in. I'm also going to add the jaggery, which adds a great taste to the pachidi and it's most often added to a pachidi. And I'm going to add just a little bit of water and grind this mixture to make a sort of a coarse mixture, right? Not completely smooth like a chutney. So I'm just gonna do that. I've ground the uh, coconut jaggery and the green chili curry leaf paste. It's just not completely smooth, notice it's coarse. So at this stage, I'm gonna get the cooker over here and then combine all of them and to make the pachidi, right? I'm just gonna add it to this. give this mixture a stir. That's it, there is no further cooking required to make this. All that is required now is to add the tadka. Most often the tadka is also skipped because there's oil in it, but I like to add that tadka with rai and urad dal and it brings out great flavors. So that's it, so now I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl and then do the tadka for it. So let's just proceed to that. Okay. So now to make the tadka, the seasoning, also known as the tal chikotte in Tamil, right? I've added a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil or coconut oil adds great flavors to the pachdi. So if you get hold of one of these oils, do add them. And to this, we'll add the mustard seeds and allow it to crackle. And the half urad dal, that is the white urad dal. And allow it to crackle along with the mustard seeds and turn lightly brown, right? So you want the seeds to become nice and roasted and uh, browned lightly. So this takes about less than a minute, but make sure you do it on medium heat so it doesn't get um, black and burnt, right? So we'll just wait for it to get roasted well. Notice that uh, it's just well roasted and uh, it's lightly golden brown and this is exactly how we want the dal to be, right? Because it should get that crunch in your mouth when you um, uh, bite into it. At this stage, I'm gonna turn off the heat so that the, the dal doesn't burn and I'm gonna put in, tear in some curry leaves and add it to the tadka. So that's it. So the tadka is ready. I'm gonna transfer the, the cooked pachidi into my serving bowl, pour the tadka over it, and that's it. The pumpkin pachidi would be ready to serve. I hope you like this really quick and easy and simple pumpkin pachdi. It's a different way of making pumpkin at home, 
apart from the pumpkin masalas or any other sabji that you make. It's wholesome, it's simple and it's delicious. You must try this in your kitchen. When you do, don't forget to share your feedback and leave your comments below. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.